the solution to this example first let's get it into Power Query once we have it in it looks like it's recognized the dates even though we can see they're wrong it seems to have headers that looks fine first thing we're going to do is to unpivot this because I'd like to have New Year's Day 2011 and the date so I'm going to highlight these three columns go to transform and I'm going to say unpivot columns so now what we've got is the name the year from the heading and a date but we know that these dates are incorrect these need to be changed so that we can actually see 2012 etc so we're going to have to break this apart and then put it back together so to break it apart what I'm do, going to do just to make it a bit easier to see what the original was I'm going to go to add columns and duplicate that column just so I can see it and what we're going to pull out of here is we're going to extract just the month and the day so we can use a formula or if you go to the date and time section you'll see there's an item saying pull out of that column the month for example creates a new column called month in a number format pulls out a 1, a 3, etc. whatever the month is going back to that same one I'm going to go and pull out the day so now we've pulled out the day we don't need to pull out the year because our attribute over here is a year now I'm going to leave it like this we're going to cause an error and I'll get back to and show you what it is but let's say we're now going to create a custom column let's call it a date I'm going to use my hash date function this here I'm going to say I'm going to use what's called an attribute that's the year there's the month there's the day close it seems to be working let's say OK and we'll get an error message so you just have to be a little bit careful the reason for this error message is I've pointed to something called attribute which is not seen as a number it's seen as text so we can redo this or if I want let's go back a few steps so that's when the data came in we changed some types we unpivoted it at this point it would have been useful if we change that to a number so while I'm there I'm just gonna go and say make that a whole number you'll see it just wants to know do you want to insert the step that's fine I'm gonna insert it so now we've got it as a number and then these steps just flow on and let's see if it's worked so now you'll see our formula works so now we've taken that raw data and using all these various steps have got back to the actual date at this stage now we should be able to remove these columns perhaps we need that one probably can get rid of that one but we've now got a detailed listing of the dates and the holiday name on that date.